and I play the exposition always on purpose, very rhythmical and clear. And then we have the Durchführung, development, and we have the reprise, recapitulation, where we can be free. But in addition, that's also my, all the people said, rhythmically just right. Huh? But you do that really good. Now, yes, we have musical qualities, because this is perfection, is not enough. Is superficial perfection is not enough for an audition. You cannot be lucky and pass an exam. It's not. Now, the things you can really show in the exposition is palaces, atmosphere, and not so easy, joy. That's why it's so difficult, Mozart. Brahms, you can go. <laughs> It's much more easy to, to show a depression and um, to be angry on stage than to show elegance. It's nothing more difficult than elegance. I could, that's only some things and joy. Oh, it's laughing! Yes! And everybody knows that in audition you take a number of shit, everybody plays, and you think, I can't play the clarinet at all, and the others can play so well, and you feel. <laughs> It's terrible, I know, it's terrible, but that's our job. You, have, you can go and work in a bank or on a computer. No, you want to be a musician, so, okay, you have to do that. That's our job, to show joy, make joy jokes. Okay, so, and you have to know, so I think we switch now from the orchestra version to the orchestra version, the free interpretation. Because it is not something totally different. That is not. It's not a border. You say this you are allowed, you should do there, and you should not do there. Um, but it, they are like rules, or you can say fields. And now we go to the next, because of course, if you play for an orchestra as a soloist, it's clear that all this first homogeneity of sound, blah, 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 is done, is covered. And now we do free interpretation. You have to tell me how much minutes do I have more? We are alive, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing what I did? I do. Okay, we do five minutes. I think that's enough. That's nowadays we go, we buy everything. Uh, how do you make an interpretation of Mozart? Five minutes. That should be enough. No. Of course, you need a whole life. I decided. To record Mozart when I'm 50 and not before. And I did it on my 50th birthday. I have my CD. Brahms, I have even more respect of the Brahms sonatas I record when I'm 60. I cannot imagine how you can record this piece when you're 25. But some people are so great. Okay, I have here um, uh, my Mozart and I had the luck to, to record it with the orchestra. The first thing what I had to find an orchestra which I know shares my ideas. If not, you can do three rehearsals, five rehearsals, ten rehearsals, forget it. You never, and that's the first thing. You don't play alone, you play now with an orchestra. Have you played an orchestra? What have you played? First paper? And how was your experience to play with orchestra? Look, it's, exactly. The first is the dynamics. It's, it's logic. If a whole orchestra, 60 people, 40, 30, or it can be 20 or 30, play with you. And you should be the soloist in the melody. Actually, really, I go in this concert and say I play mezzo piano and louder. And in some places I can go really soft. But not in the arts, because otherwise they just don't hear you. And that's momently a little bit a tendency. A lot of soloists play very soft the clarinet, and I just can't hear them. I'm disappointed then. I don't know. And it's not my aim. So you need more sound. Recording is a totally different thing. Recording, you can do everything you want. It's easy. 
So yes, really loud, also um, very rhythmical. But I, to play with an orchestra is totally different. An orchestra is not a pianist with a tempo. An orchestra has no tempo at the beginning. Often in the second movement it starts somehow. And when you have, I remember, I, I played once the last movement, that's the horror, the last movement, to start together with the orchestra. And then you have a conductor. Now, how do you do it? A conductor is not able to do, give a tempo, I know, and um, normally it's really, it's really a difficult task. The best, I think, is when I give really a mm, really mm, I give it, but no conductor wants that. And then the conductor makes, I give always to the conductor, and then the conductor makes somehow in between like that. Um, <laughs> it's never together. Never. So I recorded Mozart without conductor. He's a very great uh, concert master, and so chamber orchestra is very good for classical music. And yes, so um, we were just, okay, I'll just, just give you an example. Now, what I do, what mainly, you see, I try to play a little bit the piano too. I, Try now to learn really the whole repertoire on the piano. I have also my composer experience. I composed around 70 pieces, 20 for the clarinet. So I have kind of experience how is the process of a composer. And I studied piano because I wanted to understand more the music. And the music is seldom just one line. This is a solo piece. But if you play a sonata, if you play a concerto, you play together with other musical um, stuff, or something, to say it in not very nice words, you play in a context of something. And now, you know, there are composers a lot, they have accompaniment sounds like that. <laughs> Changes to, in the, I talk in the tonality, not the clarinet, 
Now we are in A major, A minor, and immediately um, <laughs> goes to G major. Ooh, quite a big jump. But, and now a very special thing, that's a Mozart harmony. Also dissonance. I've, I've not found any musical who can explain this dissonance. It's a four alt, the Mozart four alt. He uses that in the concert several times. And, um, and then he's this. Okay, play, play a little bit his bay. Yes. And I got one D, 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 D. That's C major. C major. Now, there I can always see that somebody reads really the orchestra. If somebody plays here. It really fortress. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the orchestra is doing? Can you play it? No composer ever could write this. And it doesn't sound bad or stupid. Mozart could that. But now, this is not a hero melody above this. It's a very sensitive melody. And now, what happens? Dramatic. Again, we were happy on the game dramatic. Huh? And of course on the basset clarinet it's very nice because we can go down. And that's why you have to play with these clarinets. Huh? But you see this changes. And now for my taste, I will play here only a little bit softer. And then show this dramatic of the Danish chord. And then bump up bump D and then play the bass huh? Okay?